Alright, today I'm going to build a ski rail um, at home, do it yourself, maybe on a weld, and do some grinding. Um, the materials cost me $26, but I had some metal laying around. Um, all I bought was two 10 foot long, 3 quarter inch pipes, and that's it. And I have all the other metal that I'm going to be using uh, to build the base and the legs and everything. So, uh, here we go. First thing I did was to cut a two and a half inch piece of just flat metal um, out. This is what I'm going to weld the both pipes to, and also the legs going to come up the bottom. So first I cut these out. I'm going to use three of these. Uh, go ahead and do that, and then uh, we'll go from there. Next you're going to weld those two and a half inch wide uh, pieces of metal to the poles. Put the poles on each side of them. Make sure the poles are parallel to each other all the way down. And I'm just going to tack them together real quick and show you what it looks like. Alright, this is what it looks like after the two and a half inch uh, wide metal is tacked to the rails. Um, obviously this is upside down from where you'll uh, from where it would actually be. And I'll show you a picture of the right side up in a second. So right side up you'll see the rails and that's it. And then the uh, legs will go off of the plates. Alright next, um, now that we have the plates on the rails, we are starting with the legs. I cut three of these. They're 11 inches tall. Uh, it's actually just uh, inch and three quarter, 120 wall stuff I had left over from a roll cage that I built. Um, they're going to be notched at the bottom, so it goes over the actual leg part, and uh, it's going to be welded to the plate on the rail. So uh, there's going to be three of these. Cut three of them. Ta-da! That was fast.